after not onboarding some of the tech companies are revoking offer some of the candidate who has been offered by the top it firms infosys wipro tech mahindra says the offered has been revoked and there is no clarification on the ground of rejection let me share with you my story as well i received my offer letter in the month of september and i got my date of joining in the next year december approximately after one and a half year in fact they were my friends who got their joining in the month of february and march next to next year let me tell you the truth before pandemic i have never heard of revoking an any offer letter this is happening after pandemic many company who boomed during the pandemic is not doing well especially those who were relying on the investors and reason is very much clear we can all see the global market condition because of the war crisis pandemic according to a report one student from wipro got a rejection mail one student from tech mahindra also received a rejection mail and another student from infosys has also received a rejection mail after not onboarding after getting an offer letter now the things has changed it's not only the experience who has to save their job but also a fresher now first let's understand why there is a delay in joining or onboarding process so we need to understand the company's point of view i will also tell you my story and the mistakes i have done which you guys should not and you should learn from my mistakes and how you can save your job so let's get started There are many graduates who have been offered position for the major companies like Wipro, Infosys, TCS, Cotton are looking elsewhere for work because of onboarding delay. One candidate said he has an offer from Wipro, Infosys and Capgemini in the month of September 2021 and he is still waiting for the joining date. This is just one story but there are many students who are going through the same pain. Now let's jump to the important point. why there is delay so let me tell you the answer date of joining is based on business requirement it has nothing to do with pandemic because i am also 2017 pass out i got my offer letter in 2016 i got my joining date in 2018 and many student from my batch got their offer letter in 2016 and got their date of joining in 2018 so it is not related to pandemic it is related to business requirement now you need to understand what is business requirement if any company gets a project or any project needs some extra resource then these company onboard people this is called onboarding based on business requirement question why do they make people wait capitalism So tell me why would a company pay you if they do not have a requirement just to make you sit on the bench no right but guess what there's a way you can fast in your onboarding process so now here comes my experience basically when you start earning your job is not just your job if your family is sentiment attached to your first job and i was going through the same pain There was a time when my father said, "Beta, your company is not going to call you. Let's go and apply for the off-campus." And guess what? I started applying for off-campus drive in the month of September. From the September 2017, I literally wasted I I wasted one year waiting for the offer letter, which I shouldn't have. So mistake number one: never wait for the OG from your company. If you have an opportunity to apply for off-campus drive, go ahead and apply for it. Don't miss out that opportunity. Mistake number two: I was doing, I was not upgrading myself. I was not upgrading my skills. I was very stagnant. I was literally just si- simply sitting idle, waiting for my DOG. So never waste your time. Upgrade your skills. It's really going to work out. I started my training in the month of September which last till November I had updated my resume on company's portal just after updating my resume on the company portal I got my date of joining in the very next batch so I was lacking in upgrading my skills there was a demand 
but I was not prepared because my resume was not prepared. So company was not calling me because you never know what the demand comes. Maybe the demand is in Python and your resume has Python. They may call you in the next batch. Maybe there's a demand in database. They may call you for the database in the next coming batch. So upgrade your skills. You never know what demand may come. And that's what I was doing. I did this mistake. I started my training in the month of September 2017. It took me three months to complete my training and an original certification. I received my certificate in the month of November. I updated my resume on company portal. And just after updating in the next batch, I got my call letter. I remember there were 98 students who were onboarded along with me. Out of which only four students got ML domain. And in those four students, I was one of them. It's just because of my skill. It's because of my skill, my updated resume. I not only got a good project, but I also got a development task. So what you guys learned from my experience? I have a simple suggestion for you guys. Don't waste your time on the things where you don't have control. Start investing your time on upgrading your skills or applying for a better opportunity outside. Remember, every skills you add today in your resume will take you to a better workplace tomorrow. So start investing your time instead of wasting for DOG. That's my only suggestion for all of you guys watching this video. Keep learning, keep upgrading. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching.